Hello, my fellow Pipers. The one simplex one here. What are you guys doing up, my friends? This evening, I come to you to do a tin opening. And this tin opening doesn't come because I want to open this tin. This thing, this tin opening comes from a brother that commented in one of my videos when I did my tin seller video. Shout out to Dober Pipes. And this brother told me that I should open my bee juice because around the time of 2016, he had purchased the same tins of the same time. And they were issues with mold. During my video, I tried to rebuke. But Brother Dober had put it in my mind that I should consider opening them up to be sure. Which would be the wise thing to do. So thank you very much, Brother Dober. And I was going to open them right away when you commented but I figured why not make a video off of it let's see if Cornell deals if there is a problem or maybe not worst case scenario if it's not I will just put them in mason jars not a big deal well with no further ado Alright guys, I am going to crack one of them. And the reason, I had three of these, but I have two here. The reason I only have two here is because I noticed from the three of them, two of them were starting to bulge out. And then I, I had did some research on YouTube and noticed that some of the brothers had some corner on deals tins of not only Biju but other other blends which had some kind of bulging I'm rebuking it as we speak no mold please no mold but you know what with no further ado let's see if this diamond has been compromised alright let's see what's up here Anyways, let's hurry up. I wanna make this video too long. Let's crack it. Okay. There was a poof. Okay. I also heard that people were having some kind of foul smell. Okay, cracked. So let's do this guys. Please don't please don't move. Bam. If there's no mold here, I will not open. I am not gonna open this one. I'll just let it at his butt. Let's take a look. This is how it looks when you first open it. Oh, there you go, guys. I guess I can read that. Alright. So far, so good. I don't smell anything foul, but let's further investigate. So far, so good. Look, first layer. My goodness. Oh, second layer. And okay, okay. Hmm. So far, so good, guys. I don't see anything on top. I actually see some some crystal. Hold on a second, guys. 
Let me use my little light. Matter of fact, let's make this light a little brighter. Let there be light. Booyah. Oh, wow. We just turned into HD, guys. All right. So. Alrighty then. In further inspection. Yeah, there's no. There is no. Foul smell at all. It actually smells very nice. Okay, but let's see. Let's really look. Okay, so far so good. I guess I'm gonna have to dump this somewhere. Come on, found it. Alright, guys. Well, I know you guys won't be able to see. I wish I'd be able to put the camera in, but I'm gonna use my fingers. Hopefully, nothing jumps out. But you know what? Oh my god. One thing for sure, there's. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me put the light on it. Oh, let's make it a little dimmer. I don't know if you guys can see if there's a shimmer. Because I do see a lot of crystals in it. Like it's crystallizing, the sugar crystals. I'm gonna further investigate, guys. So, because I've seen guys they had like a, oh a green, furry. Oh shoot! Let me see. They they have fur, and they look like spores. Let's pause the video. Let me get something so I can pour this. Mm, there's no pause. Oh my goodness. But so far, so good, guys. Everything looks crystallized. And I was told that if there was any mold, um, there will be a very foul smell. Like maybe green looking I mean they're in flake mode these are like little flakes and once I pour them they're gonna break apart because they're very fragile look at this look at this very fragile flakes look this is a flake right here but if you grab it like this like an accordion oh snap it broke well yeah they're very fragile but they're they're they don't smell they don't smell funky at all they don't smell I don't see no hairs um pores of any hairs you know what let me take a look at this flake little all right guys you know what i have some you guys won't be able to see it but let me put it under the microscope okay let me see this let me see anything that looks questionable let me see guys i'm sorry if it's taking too long but Brother Dober, Brother Dober Pipes, this was for you, man. Got a Hello, YTCP. Sorry, Brother Dober. Uh, the video shut off because I ran out of space on my phone, so I had to delete some videos. But yes, uh, while the video shut off, I was expecting the flakes with, with my little uh, Carson microscope and brother Doba uh, I even pour this in a, in a plate actually this plate right here which you guys missed the whole video because I was like what but there was no mold Cornell and Dio's Biju is truly a diamond in a rough um, now that I opened it uh, soon I will make a video trying out this blend which I have not tried yet but guys for the Dober peace love be with the white TPC all right guys have a good evening take care bye